What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We just got back from FD Atlanta. It's always a good time up in Atlanta. The scenery is beautiful and the track is super, super cool. But I got a text from my good buddy, Jim, uh, <laughs> while we were up there. And he was like, hey, so this happened. It missed the LS400 by like eight inches. So I am pretty freaking stoked about that, that it didn't just crush my car. I guess we had a super gnarly storm while we were gone but it missed the LS400 by like a foot, so. Oh, we're about to have a problem. Oh, yeah, let go. Hold a bit, Jim. What the fuck you doing? There you go. Woo! <laughs> Keep pulling. Right that bitch out of the way. <laughs> Before we dive into this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Policy Genius. You need home and auto insurance. It's that simple. Policy Genius is your one stop shop to find and buy the best insurance you need. Now, as I started acquiring more cars over time and those cars being a little more expensive than the usual car, I ended up browsing around a lot trying to find good insurance companies, and Policy Genius had the best rate for me. Also, with the rising inflation causing concern in our country, one of the best and easiest ways to save money is to reshop for your home and auto insurance. On average, Policy Genius customers have saved around $1,250 per year over their existing policies. Policy Genius is your one stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need. And get Getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com forward slash divine and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Policy Genius will then show you price estimates for policies that fit your needs and help you find the best option. Their team of experts will look for ways to save you more, especially when you bundle your home and auto policies. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. If they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. All you have to do is head to policygenius.com forward slash divine to get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you can save. I want to give a massive thank you to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Today's a Supra day. Today we are going to be tearing back into the Supra's engine bay, trying to get that thing all stripped out, ready for paint. But two huge things happened today in my life that I feel like I need to share because it's just one of those kind of monumental things that I'm proud of myself for and proud of making the push for it. And hopefully it's one of those decisions that will change my life. As you guys know, I have a brand and I have been developing product for it for the past few years. Stuff that I wouldn't necessarily call merch. I like to make a lot of custom stuff from the waving air fresheners to the waving lights, to the license plate frames, to the old light stickers. I like to make cool automotive accessories aside from hoodies and t-shirts. Now in the notes in my phone, I have a section called inventions and I have quite a few things that I've thought up of over the years of products that I wanna invent in the future. And today was that monumental day where I pulled the trigger on one of them over the past few weeks I've been assembling a team that is ready to bring one of my ideas and inventions into life. This is a product that does not exist and I am inventing it. And it is so friggin' cool to know that this is something that when it's done, it's getting patented, it's getting shipped worldwide, and fingers crossed could even end up in some stores in the future. One of my main goals in life has always been to design and create product like this, and to pull the trigger and take that next step took a lot of thinking and a lot of guts, but I finally did it, and I am so unbelievably excited. Like I said, this is something that does not exist. That means that it has to start in the design process, go through a ton of R&D, a ton of samples, a ton of testing, a ton of of material testing, finding manufacturers, distributing the product. There's there's tons of things that has to go on to make this happen, but I know that at the end of the day, it will be worth it, and I'm gonna try my very, very, very best to make this happen, because hopefully it will open another chapter to my life in the future of being a product developer. And not only that, being a product developer in an automotive world that I love so much. This is something that you won't see for months and months down the road, but I'll keep you guys updated as time goes on, if there's any big major steps or or breakthroughs that happen. But on top of that, today I also paid the invoice for the Supra that contains every single part that we would need to build that car from an NA automatic to a 550 horsepower, manual, big single turbo, beautiful pro white Supra that I want so much. So those are the two big things that happened today for me and I'm sorry I opened this video with a lot of talking. I just felt like I needed to get that off my chest because I've been thinking about it all day long and I just had to tell someone so I figured I would tell you guys. But anyways, like I said, I'll keep you updated on the product and hopefully over the next few years, Divine can turn into a self-sustaining 
automotive brand that you guys know and love so much. Okay, let's go do Supra stuff now because I'm impatient. All right, boys, we back at it again with the Supra. My goal for this video is to have the bay fully, fully stripped. I paid that whole invoice today from Drift HQ. Shout out Drift HQ. Just because their name says Drift in it does not mean that you can't buy every single part that you need to build a Mark IV Supra for the street. They have everything on the site, which is super awesome because I like to work with them. Obviously, I love Duarte and all the guys over there. Support your friends, support your friends' businesses. But on top of that, I also sourced a VVTi turbo head for the engine. So I'll be using my NA block with a turbo head. There's basically zero difference between the two aside from oil squirters, but those aren't really an issue unless you're trying to make 1200 horsepower on the drag strip. But yeah, I'm gonna get to town first on taking the body panels off. That way I can have access to where the harness gets routed. As you can see, it routes through the fenders on both sides here. So I gotta get these fenders off, get the front bumper off, do all of that. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna tackle and then we'll go from there. appears at some point in this car's life someone decided to undercoat the fender liner so that's annoying you don't fucking undercoat plastic people there's no point <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to strip all that off that fenders half off this bumpers half off back to work not expect the fender liners to be the dirtiest part about this job, but it is. So most of the engine bay hardware that's body related is painted white. So once this car is actually ready for paint, I'm gonna be bringing all the bolts that are white in to get them repaint it as well and when I go to put them back on the car with the rest of the body panels I'm going to make sure to wrap some electrical tape around each nut so that I don't damage the paint when it goes back on not only will this be a street car but it's going to be a very clean street car All right, got the whole front end off. Bumpers, fenders, fender liners. This is all hardware for fender liners and body stuff. Quite a bit of stuff left to do, so. I just know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel with this, and once all this stuff is stripped out, it's basically paint and then put it all back together. So, very much looking forward to that. That is my motivation that keeps me going to see this done, because I know once it's actually done, it's going to be so good, but I will see you guys in the morning. Next day, time to get back to work on this thing. I think I'm gonna start on this front section here, try and get all of this ducting out, the horn, the coolant overflow, stuff like that. I popped into Drift HQ this morning and they actually had a lot of the parts already in stock laid out on the table for me to see. So. I'll make another video in the future going over all of the parts and the build list for this thing. But right now it's time to hunker down and get back to work taking this thing apart. I'm either going to time lapse it or I'm going to update you guys bit by bit. Also, if there's any Supra owners in Orlando that want to buy a Shine Auto kit for their Supra, I got mine, brand new, never mounted, front bumper, side skirts, and rear spats. So let me know, DM me, I'm selling it. Don't want to do it on this car. I'm going to keep this car stock body. It's just really clean, and I really like the way the stock body looks on this thing. All right, decent amount of progress made so far. Whole front end is basically stripped down. A couple more tiny little things. Uh, disconnected the harness all the way around the car. It's basically ready to come out. I just need to get under the dash and disconnect it from one side, and then I can 
drape it over out of the way so that that's clear. But I actually have the first phone call meeting with the team of developers and designers that I have for this product. So I gotta run over, take that call, and then I'm gonna jump back on this. Like I said, hopefully trying to finish this engine bay stuff today, get that knocked out, and then maybe I can get the engine on a stand and start tearing that apart because parts are coming in and I gotta get a move on. Boys and girls, the Supra Bay is stripped. About like 99% of the way there. Everything that needs to get taken out is taken out. The subframe, like I said, needs to come out, but I can't do that right now because we don't have any more car dollies. So I'm gonna use the subframe and use everything so that I can actually put wheels on this thing, roll it around, keep it as a roller for now. I think the next thing that I wanna do is see if I can get the pressure washer over here and see if there's a water hookup on this building. And if there is, clean this thing because it is gonna be such a transformation. Like the amount of just loose dirt and grime that's in here. Like this is a Florida car. This has been a Florida car its whole life. But the amount of loose dirt and stuff that can come out of here is gonna be such a nice transformation. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a water hookup and do that. Shout out to Phil, by the way. I'll leave his Instagram right here. He came by and helped get the rest of the harness and stuff out after work. He also tackled the booster, which was an absolute nightmare. There's like a ton of different brackets and stuff that he had never seen before. Phil's a 10 year Toyota master mechanic and uh, he's definitely been a huge help in figuring out some of these some of this stuff. He's worked on a couple of these. I'm sure you guys will see him in future videos helping and tinkering around when this thing starts going back together. But I'm freaking stoked. This thing has come a long way in the past week. I'm glad I was able to have Phil's help. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find uh, water and pressure washer and mask this thing up, see if I can pull it outside and clean her up. ready for the most satisfying engine bay before and after of your lives because you're about to get it I'm gonna go town on this thing set you guys up on the tripod sit back relax get satisfied because this is gonna look amazing transformation I've ever done. Look at how caked on this shit is. Holy crap. This takes me back to my Civic video. Detailing my 23 year old Civic for the first time. It's funny, that's one of my most viewed videos on my channel. And it got so much hate. same spot so that I can split the picture down the middle and show a really cool before and after. This is one of my favorite parts, I think, to be honest. Look at that. Jesus. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. We'll start with the firewall. 
transformation I don't know what is so the driver side has a little more uh, dirt and rust and stuff than the passenger side does so I'm gonna make sure to hit this corner really good the pressure washer also doesn't reach over here because our hose isn't long enough. <coughs> yeah, but that's okay. Much better. Got rid of a lot of that rust. That's sick. Okay, now I'm gonna hop in here, take care of this subframe, power steering rack, cross member, everything. Try and get this as spotless as I can. Wow, there is so much grease. I don't know if this will fucking do the trick, but I'm gonna try my best. I don't wanna have to powder coat the subframe if I don't have to, so I know I probably could have cleaned the subframe first before anything else, but I wanted to see that before and after real bad, you know? All right, let's see what a little, little elbow grease can do. This thing went from zero to 100 so freaking fast. Everything is spotless, clean enough to work on, clean enough for Randy to get started, get prepping for paint, all that good stuff. Subframe and everything down there turned out really, really well, so I don't think I'll have to uh, powder coat those or paint any of that stuff. So I'm stoked about that. I'm gonna clean up my mess, clean off the area, get this thing back in the shop, close up shop, get a beer, and call it a job well done and also close out this video. I'm stoked on the progress that this thing has made. The next super video will be disassembling and tearing down the entire engine, showing off a bunch of new parts that are for it, cleaning the engine, getting it ready to go out to Mike, the engine builder. He's a homie and I cannot wait to work with him. But yeah, this thing looks phenomenal. Completely transformed with just a quick power wash. It's always one of the most satisfying jobs to do and I cannot wait for this thing to be painted and get some fresh brand new parts back in here. I'm coming for you, DJ. Battle of the engine bays. I'm just kidding. DJ's, DJ shaved his entire friggin' engine bay. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might plug a couple holes, but we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got a Del Sol video coming up next, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>